Hello and welcome back to the episode 5 of the Thousand Beaver Challenge. We're currently at around 45 beavers, so that's 955 beavers left to go. I'm confident we can add another 3 beavers by the end of this episode, but we'll see. Um, Alright. What are we doing? We're waiting for water to flow, which isn't really going to help us. Um, we need bad water so we can build our dynamite. Because dynamite or explosives do take bad water, they take five a pop. And without the bad water, we can't do anything. So we also need to build ourselves a pool so we can actually let it flow somewhere and then have it stored and continue pumping it for it throughout. So yeah, that's something that we need to be looking at doing next. Um, I'm thinking over here I'm not sure if it's a full time thing or just a temporary thing to get it sorted uh, I can't really see another way of doing it unless we block off an end space and build some floodgate system to get it going in I mean there's here that's just too far and it's not always going to be bad water we could do here which again is far and it's a lot of work to actually uh, block it off and there was here but that would need a complex pump system so yeah I think for now we just need to do a little gate here floodgate we can open and then a channel down to maybe over here and then we just fill that with bad water Oh, this is still going. It's only one, but it should still be going. Why aren't you going? Okay, you've reached the bottom. You're not still going, are you? You can be paused then. Along with our other eight beavers or seven beavers who are unemployed. Um, is there anything we could employ them with? There's not really. Is a, I suppose, building. That's... Let's build a bad water storage. We might as well get that going. There you go. And it might actually be worth building another pump here too. So we have several things that need bad water. This centrifuge needs bad water as well to make extract. To make the extra levels of dynamite. Um, suppose we build a platform. We do need to keep an eye on our metal though. And then if we build a bad water pump. Because pumps take five metal. And we haven't. sorted out our tree system yet so it's a finite resource shit we haven't got a huge amount left okay after that big barrel no more metal structures aside from bad water pumps it's 45 60 105 165 we we'll say that's 5 as well so 170 then it takes two per metal, so 170 divided by two is 85. So we can build 85 more metal until we need a mine. Right, so this is our last big metal thing. And we got loads for pumps, I suppose. So these can be changed to... Fuck, let's just do extract build up a storage and then we can turn the building off and we won't need it anymore so now I'm at a dilemma again 
what's more important, mining out this or dynamiting out this? Or dynamiting a channel round here? It's probably going to be a channel round here, isn't it? <coughs> okay. All right. So we go in here. We're not going to need a huge amount. So it will be level 2 dynamites we want as well. So say we make that our bad water pond. So we'd want level 1s going in there and then level 2 going down. And then we can actually build our pumps on it. We could even make it a temporary water storage as well if we get desperate. Yeah, so how many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 10, isn't it? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, 10 by 10. So that's 100 dynamite. So that would need 500 bad water. Plus this. We're going to need the extract and that's four a pop. And we need a hundred of those. So four hundreds. We need nine hundred bad water to get our bad water secure. Okay, that's fair enough. And you might as well start playing. Not that you're actually going to be used for a while. So I didn't think I'd say this, but I hope we have some bad water come soon. And we're going to make you the high priority, guys. And probably need to build you down there. Can we get to them all? We can. That's good. So beavers can come down here or go down there. Brilliant. I hope that's going to be enough. As I say, though, it's just a temporary situation. And then I suppose in the interests of storing more water, we could actually uh, dynamite all this as well. And then we have this kind of one barrier. Hmm. What to do next? Triple dynamite, which I don't think we we'll need for a while. Save up towards the mine, which we are going to need. Or a large windmill. Yeah, and you really need paper for that. We could start work on the paper now. Don't know. Let's just hold off. We don't need to make any decisions now. We're at the mercy of our environment at the moment, and the environment's not being kind. Right, let's actually make you guys a high priority as well. Or highest priority so they get built first. And <laughs> we have a tiny bit more water stored there. Not a huge amount, but a tiny bit. We do have six spare beavers, so when the water flows, we can open all this. And it'll take some out of our hauling post. And we'll be good. Trees are being cut. We wouldn't mind building an underground log storage as well. Um, yeah, there's no great place to build it. I mean, currently our log storage is there, which isn't ideal. But How much does an underground one cost? Okay, a thousand science. Yeah, that's definitely not a priority. We could probably build it, though. We're 15 short. No, we've got enough blanks. We're too short on gears. That will be done soon. And we have the logs. Yeah, okay. That's a later project. So many things to do. Before we get to our thousand beavers. Right, you can actually start pumping. Water should be out here quite quick. Quite 
quickly even. Yeah, with this one, I suppose eventually what I'll do is I'll dynamite around here and then I'll just shift it when it comes to bad water down there. And then that will just be a two gate system here, like block it here when it's bad water and I have the gate open this side. And then lower when it's good water. What are you? Would a level 3 gate go there? Probably would, wouldn't you? Um, the best way of measuring is with platforms. Oh, it's only a level 2 gate we'd need. Dynamite this as well. And then we can completely prevent the bad water from going this way. And this would be unnecessary. This is our kind of flow for when the bad water gets stuck here. Um... It's not a huge project, and we kind of have the roads almost going near enough. But it is dynamite intensive, which we don't have. Nor will we have. Until we have a bad tide. Come on, bad tide. Rooting for you. Alright, we won't be able to get the rest of the pumps going until maybe tomorrow. Because we've got quite a bit of area to be flooded here or filled with water. Yeah, it should be quite quick. Let's see. Let's watch. Yeah, it's going down. Oh, that's good. Alright, all hands to the pumps. Water will be with you presently. We can currently store 3,600 plus these is 4245. Is that correct? It is correct. There you go. I could have just hovered my mouse up here and found out about it. Pumping, water, lots of lovely water coming. Bad tide though, please. If it's a drought again, it's just... Ugh. I'm stuck. There's nothing I can do. We need 2,700 water currently to survive a 30-day drought. Um, I think we're going to do okay with these pumps, this wet season, this wet cycle, whatever you'd call it. But we do need a bad tide, and soon. suppose a sensible thing would also be building a road around here. Let's leave a gap actually in case we uh, get the power going over. So then they can collect the bad tide when needed easily enough from here. Oh, fuck, we don't need that unpaused. Oh, we, oh bollocks. Another fucking drought. It's not what we wanted. This is holding up our development. Fuck it, maybe we can just build the forest here. No, we can't do that unless we have dynamite. Yet. Shit. 
Shit, 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 shit. Another thing we can do, probably not going to make much difference, but we can actually have these gates up a little. And then we have a tiny bit of water stored here, which we can let out. Um, I'm not sure it will actually get all the way down there, but... I don't know, it's something, isn't it? I suppose we could build our stream gauges. Not there yet. We need to dynamite you. Um, more than anything, just to tell us the contamination here. And we'd want to know the contamination here, but before we want to pull it down, we'd want to dynamite the area. Blah. almost as if the game knows it's like what's the best way to make it difficult for you to get anything done and they're like okay let's have a drought after a drought after a drought Alright, we can build more warehouses. These don't take steel, do they? Nope, they don't. Alright, let's get a few of those in preparation for whatever we need. Paper. Let's get paper going. And we can work towards large windmills. Uh, hmm... Those are almost there, science-wise. And so your explosives, you can be paper, alright, paper mill, yep, so we need to get you connected somehow to the power, I think we only really need one if we just have it going in the background. Uh, so we can't build stairs going up next to the windmills. So there is got to be a semi-decent way of doing it. I suppose it's going to be like this. Rerouting the road. There we go. And then... We build the power around. Scrappy, it's messy, it's not ideal, but. It'll work. If I get these correctly positioned. Oh, why don't we actually build you one closer? Have I just wasted resources? No, I haven't. They were building something else. What else were they building? Right, I'm going to try the magic of my keyboard now. Come on. I'm going to try the magic of my pause recording and pause game. Uh, my daughter's just got home. I need to go and say hello to her. Be polite. And then I can come back. So I'm going to hit the pause key and the space key, which will pause recording, pause the game, and then when I come back I hit the space key and the end key, and that should start recording again. Right, no goods selected. Who's got no goods? You were going to be paper, weren't you? Right, anyway, yes, I'm going to go. I'll be back in a second, which won't be anything for you if you're watching this. Anyway.
And I'm back in the room. Right, back in the room, just waiting for something to happen. Okay, we're building paper, that's something, isn't it? Um, 40 logs, 40 planks, 15 gears, fine, fine, fine. And we're also building this, which is going to take up a lot of our planks. What are we going to store there? So we've got explosives, paper. What can we store here? More, more is the point. Maybe pine resin. Hmm. Not going to put food stuff there. Yeah, I think this will be a pine resin storage. Okay. All right, we're just up our warehouses while we wait. Um, we can build another carrot warehouse here as well. Let's wait for our planks to replenish a little. What is our plank storage? Okay, it's only 180. That's another thing we kind of want to build a large storage for. Um, Was that metal based? It wasn't. But it was a thousand science. Yeah, you guys are actually kind of important, really. Well, the road is, I mean. Still, then again, beavers can go around that way, that's fine. It's fucking messy. We will tidy this up. In fact, we'll have a whole industrial area somewhere else. And then we'll transfer it all off. Um, maybe up here, because that's where we're going to get the metal from, and that's going to be our base. Um, we could fill up and, I say, delete or explode some of these walls, but we don't want to explode too much. Yeah, we're not going to bother about stopping the bad water here and filtering it out through a gate system somehow. I don't think that's necessary for our aims. In fact, this mountain's next to useless for us. Uh, if anything, it's an impediment in our way. We do want the water flow coming down here for now, though, so we can get the bad water pond going. Um, yeah. You know what? They don't cost that much. I might as well build a stream gauge here. And then that will prevent our beavers getting sick. We'll stop them going in the water if it is polluted at any point. Good, so we have paper storage and pine resin storage, although we have no pine resin. And industries that stand still because of the wind, yet again. New gears, it would be nice to have a large gear storage. Right, these pumps are next to useless. Oh wow, we're doing okay for water though, 2.8k. This one's still going over here. Not for much longer though. And we have this, which we can let out. Thing is, by the time it gets over there, they'll be next to nothing. So when this goes down to zero, I will actually let it out. Uh, maybe it'll be okay, I don't know. It's actually a bigger surface area than here, so maybe we should go a bit below zero. We can start building some of the platforms here. Ugh. There you go. Two point seven twenty two days left. Uh, one thousand eight hundred water needed, possibly slightly more than that. About two thousand water needed. 
we have 2.8k and we're still chugging along slowly over here as well so yeah not the end of the world right i'm just gonna let this out fuck it see how it goes <clears throat> This goes over 0.5. I have wasted some though. Just a bit over. Oh no, it's 0.7. Okay. We wasted a little, not a huge amount. Tiny little bit of bonus there for water. Yeah, once we get all this done, I suppose we'll build pumps all the way along here. Um, do some more dynamite in here and make these large barrels. If we have the metal for it. Because we are going to need metal for other things. Not the tapper's shack. And not the uh, wood workshop. Okay, that's good. These are both things we'll need. Um... We could upgrade our power now. Uh, don't really have the planks for it. Well, we do, but. Mm. Thing is, when they're running, what are they giving? 516, and the demand is. Fuck, it's sufficient, isn't it? Let's play this, see what it takes in. Okay, then it goes a bit over. These small windmills are doing okay. For oh, we're getting our paper done as well. Brilliant. So, yeah, we're just going to slowly fill up this warehouse. And then when it does actually come to building large windmills, we have plenty of paper to do that. Used to be that paper was used for the explosives, but not in this update. Right. Let's make some carrot warehouse or carrot warehouse. And we should consider the shift to potatoes as well. Sixty logs and eighty planks. Logs fine. Planks we need four more. We should get that relatively soon. And that's two thousand four hundred carrots we can store. Once it's built, mm. wow, we actually got a dynamite placed here. So that means we can build a whole new tree. Hmm, maybe when I finally dynamite this area. I should build my large underground pile here and have this as the tree cutter and then have this as the pine and the... Oh fuck, yeah, I can do that. Have this as the pine and the maple tree place. Alright, let's do it this way. This is good. There you go, that's 1,000 to 1,800 even wood we can store there. Yeah, we're not going to be able to build it straight away having just built that warehouse, but we'll get there. Our pump is still going. 18 days left of drought. How much water is actually there? Mm, we can't tell, can we? Well, we've got... It goes down two levels. So we're on almost at the end of level one. And then we have another level there as well. Well, 
So that'll be going for a while. How many water does it produce a day? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Are you coming back? Nope, 39 a day, roughly 40 a day. Okay. So one pump, 40 a day, should provide for 20 beavers. So we'd need three pumps to be making water. Okay. It's good to know. One pump, 20 beavers. One pump, 20 beavers. I'm going to forget that. But it is something I do need to know. So say for a thousand beavers... Five hundred pumps. No. One beaver does twenty. A thousand divided by twenty. That is five hundred, isn't it? No, it's not. Ugh. Brain work. Five. Fifty. I'd need fifty pumps, not five hundred. 50 pumps would do a thousand beavers. Is that possible? Yes, it is. The other thing I suppose to work out is food production, like how much food one of these huts can produce a day. On average. Yeah, you need to sit down with the calculator and do a lot of counting to work that out. <clears throat> I like that it makes a splashing sound, even though there's actually no water there at the moment. And I think this pump's done. Yep, it's reached its bottom. Fifteen days would do that easily. Ninety a day. Fifteen days is nine hundred. One thousand three hundred and fifty. Yep, fine. We got that. No problem. We have our paper up and running. It's just this fucking forest thing. Yeah. We get that. Right, how are you doing? Six planks and you're done. Oh, the wind is blowing. Great. And we're more than meeting demand. Still pumping out still. And we've almost filled our uh, still pile. This is all going to be moved over here, I've decided. This will be our industrial area. Maybe we need to flatten it all and level it all. But yeah, there's a big fucking industrial area to be had in this space. And although it's not hugely close to uh, our main district, it's not hugely far away either. So beavers will be able to get there and do work. Is this flag empty now? Nope. 12 more scrap metal to be had. So this is built, brilliant. We're going to be filling that with logs now. And that will help us because there will be times of high demand and there are times of low demand. If you're not chopping trees in low demand, it means you're wasting the whole growing cycle. So yeah, good. And I think we can. No, we shouldn't really do that just yet. 80 planks, yeah, until we get the 80 planks, or near 80 planks, it's not worth doing. 
Once we hit 60 planks, we'll upgrade this warehouse to a big one. And then we should consider moving to potatoes. Um, once we dynamite here, we can build platforms and have a uh, grill, whatever they're called. What are they called? Grills. Okay, there you go. That was hard to work out. We can just place grills along here. I think we'll probably need about three grills. And that should serve all these potatoes. But you have to be careful with the changeover because there is a long time you go without food and your resources do go. I think much like water, you need two a day for food for a beaver. Could be wrong. So we're going to need 90 a day. It's probably about five or six days until we actually get the potatoes. So that would be 450 with... Yeah, that works. So how far does this water go out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I assume that's the last bit. So fourteen squares. Fourteen by fourteen from where we are uh, right, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five. 11, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, it's 15 squares, actually. And it may go a little further, even. Well, here we can tell. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah, 15's good, fine, let's just say that. So 15 by 15. We could actually square this off a fair bit as well with a lot of dynamiting, I mean, go down around here. Or we could make this a bigger reservoir and allocate it that side. But let's do the maths, or let's actually work it out. Let's say from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so about here. don't actually want to build you let's just build a road there instead there you go so that's where we want our not so great on that side but okay on this these two sides I suppose we could have a tier system we can have uh, tree choppers go down there too And we are going to want to move our farming. Okay, this guy's done now. Thank you for your service. So yeah, no more metal. 164. We need to not be careful, but we need to pay attention there. So yeah, I suppose this could be a farming area. Kind of want to lure it again. Yet again, more dynamite, more bad water. But we'll see. Our logs are slowly growing now. I think this can actually go. We don't need it anymore. It's going to be an impediment. Look how quickly it empties. Amazing. And I think we're going to make it nice and neat. Have the dynamite go all the way down there. And then that will give us a tiny bit more water here, which we're not going to need, but... I don't know. 
Has this affected our ability to build the dynamites here? It hasn't. Nope, we can reach everywhere. Perfect. Wow, beaver teeth sharpening. See the sparks coming off. Ugh, nine days. What else can we build? Should we start doing the windmills? Yeah, let's do that. Probably don't need them, but you can be a large windmill. Now, did we not unlock it? Of course we unlocked whatever it was. Shit. Not the end of the world. The explosives factory isn't going, so I've not actually... Stop things from working. Mm, possibly affected my power supply. But again, the important things are working. Have we only got two? We've only got two plank makers. That's a surprise. I thought it would have had more. Yeah, if we start building out large windmills, it, it'll make a minor difference. Not a huge one, but it's something. One point seven k water, eight days to go. Ninety a day, eight by ninety is eight hundred minus eighty seven twenty. 720 so we'll be around a thousand one thing I don't factor in is the water used on this fluid dump I imagine that uses some don't know how much. oh it says is that three every hour okay so this is going to be dropping a bit of water it's not something I calculate in This is a mathematician's dream, working out all the numbers and how they influence each other. I was more a language guy at school than I was at maths. Not saying I wasn't good at it, I was I suppose. And I grew up in the day before you had a calculator in your pocket or mobile phone as it's known these days. I think, though, most of my learning in life, it kind of came after school. School teach you, teaches you the basics. And then as you get older, you decide what you're interested in. And if you like learning, you continue learning these things. Or start to learn new things. Okay, so this little water pit, when it's one below, they still get water, but when it's two below. Fact, we could start moving towards potatoes. No, let's do the explosives first. Without the explosives, we can't build the whatevers. Ich. Ich, ich, ich. Yeah, we're not quite full on carrots yet. Oh, we got the 1,400. Let's get this going. Not that, that. Thank you. So that can provide a maximum of 300. This is 150. Yeah, so one of these is worth two of those. And we are going to stick some more industry here eventually. So yeah, it's worth doing. It takes 30 paper. We have this one paper factory going, so yeah, it's slowly chugging along. It's all we need as long as we keep it going consistently. If 
five days, 450 water needed, plus whatever this uses. And we are chopping down all our trees, which is good. So there's only a few left to go. Why is no one chopping these down? Because they still have logs. Why aren't these logs being hauled? That says no goods in... Ah, right, okay. I know why, because when I adjusted things I built these trees, but I didn't set them to be chopped. And there we go. Chopty chop chop chop. Thank you, beavers. Alright, we still have loads of chopping going on over here. Anywhere else? Over here. And this one here. I think that's it. Alright, do I build another warehouse? Which we don't currently need. I think we should. We're going to want it in the long term. Um, let's set this to carrots, but it will become potatoes eventually. And then we'll do a slow transition. And when I say potatoes, I mean grilled potatoes. We do a slow transition, like do one field as potatoes. Once we've dynamited what we need to, that is. We got 80 planks, we do. I could also start changing these out as well, make these larger storages. So if we're chopping there, we have this over. Mm. It's just, is it worth building it when we're going to be moving the storage or the industry elsewhere? In fact, building all this tree system over here or the tree chopping over here. But then if we have everything built over here. Maybe this can be storehouse alley. I'll just blow it up so I can fit. A three by three large underground piles and then just have them going along here like planks, lumber, planks, lumber, whatever else, metal, scrap metal, mud and of course the treated planks which we need to get to so we can build the mine so we can get more metal so we can continue to expand. Pieces of the puzzle though, other pieces need to fall into place first before we can do the rest. Right, are you built yet? You're close. Another builders would be good as well. Yeah, shit, we need to save up the 4,000 to unlock that. Um, I think the power shaft's worth getting though. And maybe the grep? No, they need metal, so we want the uh, mine before there. Anything else we're going to need? We're going to need this wood workshop too. Alright, so wood workshop, then we need to save up 4,000 for the mine. We could unlock that, but... Mm. We'd more than double our science. Well, in theory, when the power's running. Look at this beauty go, supplying 246 as opposed to this 143. Or 123? Yeah, 123. Yeah, more than enough supply that. Same here as well. Well, because the metal workers aren't going. Right. I think we've been close to an hour now. What I'm going to do is 
end the episode and then I'll come back when there's a bad tide because we are just sitting on our hands waiting for something to happen now. Obviously when the water starts flowing these pumps will be a pumping. Um, but yeah, there's no real changes I can make until I can get some dynamite. The dream is there, the dream's plotted out, but yeah, we just need the uh, bad water to make the dream work. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. I'll be back again soon with the next episode. Bye bye.